a lot to unironically impress me. And in this case, it's still true. I'm not impressed, I'm just ironically impressed with how someone can become relevant again simply by being a dickhead online and continue to dig themselves deeper and deeper into a pile of shit and turn a bunch of people against them. Such is the case of Chris Taylor Brown, lead singer of the post-grunge group Trapped. Now, if you're a fan of the group Trapped, then you're probably aware of three or four songs they did that they're notable for. To the rest of the general public, they're a one-hit wonder. They had one song in 2003, that being Headstrong, and the only reason your boy knows of that song is the PlayStation 2 game Legends of Wrestling 2. Still got it in the collection, has not aged well, is a bit of a clunker as every wrestling game with a claims engine in it is, but hey, I digress. So then Chris Taylor Brown has, over the last week, managed to get some infamy again through being a dumb fuck on Twitter, which is basically being 2020 for Chris Taylor Brown. Now, this might be a dead horse subject to some of y'all. I mean, my boys Atticus the Death Meddler and Ranter and Shades have made several videos each on Chris Taylor Brown and his online shenanigans. So you should go check out their channels. They've done some fucking good shit. I'm basically just piling on here because I feel like I need to say something. Now, I've done one video myself, and that was like a 50-second video, which is like 48 seconds of me laughing, followed by me calling Chris Taylor Brown a cunt. Apparently that video was too much for some people to watch since there's a bunch of comments saying I don't get why you're laughing, but hey. Anyway, so Chris Taylor Brown has spent most of 2020 making an absolute fuckwit of himself. He's managed to get the band's fucking Twitter page banned through his stupid bullshit shenanigans, but he's still got his own personal account open on Twitter. Now the thing is, right, being a troll and being an internet shitlord a is an art, and B isn't uncommon online. But a lot of the time it's something people do in their teens and twenties, not when they're a fucking 39 year old man, and not when they're a famous 39 year old man. And when I say famous, I should note that famous should be in sarcastic quotation marks. As I say, one hit wonder, and most people don't even know the name of the lead singer trapped. Fuck, most people didn't know it up until this shit happened. So, you know, I'd say a fucking tiny amount of the population know who Chris Taylor Brown is. Anyway, rambling, getting ahead of myself. Anyways, so there's an art form to being a troll and a shit heel and a shit stirrer online. Chris Taylor Brown is not doing it in the form of an art form. He's just being a dickhead. So as I say, he's managed to get Trapp's fucking page on Twitter banned through being a fuckwit. And what he's basically doing is, he's making these stupid fucking assertions. People are challenging on it, on it, challenging him on it, I should say. He's snapping back with just fucking childish insults and bullshit, you know. Something you'd expect better out of a 39 year old man. And, fucking, he's just making a dick of himself. The bullshit isn't just limited to Twitter though. Like I say, Shades and Atticus have made videos. A couple other people, a couple other more notable YouTubers like Tim Emi have made videos on Chris Taylor Brown. And the Trapped official YouTube page, which is run by Chris Taylor Brown himself, has popped up in their comments and started trying to rip on people, started trying to start shit with people, started trying to start shit with the people that have made the videos. And doing so in a really embarrassing fashion because it's literally just, ho ho, you suck, you're jealous. You know, something you expect out of a fucking teenage girl or boy, the you mad, my haters make me famous type deal. It's nothing to actually counter what they're saying in the videos. The latest thing as I spoke of that has gotten Chris Taylor Brown and shit this time is him defending pedophilia or ephebophilia. Except not in the traditional way where it's creepy old man on boy on girl. What he's done this time is he's A, tried to defend teachers getting it on with their kids, female teachers, on teenage boys, such as, hypothetically, a 25-year-old woman with a 15-year-old boy, and trying to claim that it's nowhere near as bad as a, say, 5-year-old kid with a grown man. 
Now, Chris, I don't know if you'll watch this. I'm a smaller channel, or if you're an ugly, retarded French aphibophile by the name of Michael Mattis, who does nasty things to his sister, I'm a small-time fuck. So you're probably not going to see my video. But hey, if you do, fuck you, buddy. Second of all, that's a fucking stupid assertion, because the psychological effects are still there, right? Now... When I was younger, I would probably be on this same, oh god, where were these teachers when I was younger, <laughs> bandwagon. But as I've gotten older, I've realized, nah, gee, that's not something to be proud of. That's not something to pat someone on the back for. It's pretty fucked up because something's missing in this grown-ass woman to be jumping the bones of a 15-year-old fucking boy. We have age of consent laws for a reason, you fucking moron, okay? And while you can't really say, yeah, okay, so a five-year-old boy and a grown man versus a 25-year-old woman and a 15-year-old boy. It might not necessarily be as bad in the eyes of society, but it's still repugnant. While one is slightly more cognitive than the other, obviously there's a big difference between a five-year-old and a 15-year-old, it's still disgusting because it's still someone in a position of power preying on someone younger than them. It's essentially the same fucking thing, bro. And you still wind up with psychological scars. Because nine times out of ten, the adult isn't really in love with the kid. It's just a quick thing. Meanwhile, the 15-year-old is catching feels for this older woman. And that's going to fuck them up. And then there's the psychological damage years and years on. Which makes shit even worse. You know? So you can sit there trying to defend it, Chris. And you'd still be wrong, and it's still disgusting. And you sitting there cursing out people telling you you're a fucking idiot doesn't change that. I've gone over this before multiple fucking times in a bunch of videos I spent the last two years doing, and it's a frustrating subject for me personally. It's repugnant, Chris, okay? And you sitting there making an asshole of yourself doesn't change the fact that this is fucking wrong, okay? One, you're trying to defend something incredibly reprehensible, and two, you're making an asshole of yourself doing it. I, d I can't think of anybody that will willingly identify as a fan of Trapped at this point. You've got Chris doing all this shit, you've got Chris acting like a child online. I mean, their music's not that great to start with, as I say, one fucking hit in 2003 and that's it. This hill he's trying to die on is repugnant. He's clearly just trying to be a fucking edgelord. I don't know what the cause of it is, whether it's just Chris Taylor Brown being a fucking idiot, or if he's got a drug problem that's come to light, since, as I said, something that's only happened this year, it might have happened last year, I don't know, but it's certainly something that's happened this year, and it's certainly cringeworthy and embarrassing. And rather than fading away and classifying himself as obsolete as he should, he's doubling down on this stupidity and continuing to mouth off. I don't see a purpose. I don't see an end game. I just see a 39-year-old man making a complete dick of himself, trying to get himself some fucking fame. Trying to get himself another fucking 15 minutes. Sorry, Brownstain. This is not the way to go about it. All you're doing is tarnishing whatever pathetic little legacy you once had. I know it's not much of a legacy, but it's still a legacy. And you're still turning the five or so people you had on your side against you. You're not doing yourself any favors, Chris. You're defending something stupid. You're making an ass of yourself. And you're acting like a fucking pathetic child. The baseless assertions are fucking shit. The childish behavior is shit. And so is vanity searching yourself and going after people on YouTube. Nobody is siding with you, clown. That should say something. Learn. Hit the bricks, fuck off, stop making a dick of yourself, and maybe try and create something halfway decent again. I know it's probably not going to happen, but give it a try, Chris. Stick to making music. It's what you're... Eh? At? You're better at it than being a troll online regardless. Anyway, I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.